Hello everybody, this is Margarita with This and That and Beyond. I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to my channels, new subbies, old subbies, supportive subbies, sisters and brothers. My love to all, sending you hugs. Thank you for joining me again, yet in another video. Now today I bring to you the hashtag prompt journal video. I had a partner, and my partner was Veronica Chrissy, and Veronica, she's already uploaded the video of what I sent to her, what was my inspiration out of my business prompt card for her journal cover. So, I received Veronica's, and oh my goodness, she did such an awesome job, I am very happy with it, this is the card right here that she had to get her inspiration from and draw uh, draw from it and use, I think it is five, five elements out of the card to do the cover that she sent to me, my journal cover. And she did such an awesome job. So when I received it, I sat down with my cover and the card and I also you know, took some inspiration from it and finished decorating the journal cover. And um, I think it came out pretty good, pretty good. She did such an awesome job that she just, like, my goodness, I just wanted to keep going to decorating it, and I did. So between me and Veronica, yeah, we hit that ball right out of the park. Well, anyway, my journal is finished. I have a complete journal underneath this gorgeous, beautiful piece of material that she gifted me in Happy Mail. So let's get into it, guys. And here we go. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, guys. Look at this. What a beautiful journal. What a beautiful journal. Now, Veronica... She did the flowers, she did the yellow covering here, she did the lace, and she added the, she painted it yellow, she added the blings, which I already knocked two of them off, but I'll put them back, and she put the, the bees, these, And then when I received the cover, and then she she ripped the paper here down the side, and she laid it down, she glued it down, and then behind it there was a beige piece of paper, looked like a book, a book paper with printing. So um, I stamped on it, I did those stamping on it, and I added that bee, I added the sunflower, I added the... Honey jar. I added that sunflower up there. I did some more stamping, little stamping. I added that bling. And around the edges, she had. I added this sign here that says beautiful. And on the edges, she had, um, mm, how you call that? Distressed. With a color that looked almost like green. To bring out the green from this this one here and what I did was I went over it with some orange it looks yellow but it's orange and then she did the bling here Let's see the mm, how you call that glitter the glitter see she took it from the card she did an awesome job. I love it. And um, I added this leaf here as a sticker. And this here. Now in the car there's no leaf. But I wanted to add a leaf to it. So this here. It was my inspiration to do this over here. What else? That's it. 
And I just added these yellow goldish um, rhinestone stone. And then this is my journal. Oh, come on, focus. This is some doilies that I put down the middle here just for looks. I added that ribbon. This paper I got from Little Birdie from a collection that I bought. I don't have it with me. And over here, it says Be Happy. I printed that. This here is a ribbon I bought from the Dollar 25 store. This paper here that I removed from the cover over here is printable. You, you know, it can be journaled on. And it's, it has, I think those are bees, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the journal there. This ATC card was given to me a long time ago. I was holding on to it. It came in handy. And then this was the full coloring that I bought. And I was talking about in my previous videos for my hauls. I did it in green. And then I had that that says, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. That's the back of the printable. Uh, the printable the dye paper with the full coloring liquid. Then I did a little flip here. Added a butterfly. Took a piece of paper with bees that I had from a printable. Ripped it, put it there. Again, I did some printable with lines, paper with lines. Glued it down. Used a piece of that cardstock that I covered the book with. And this book has many, many journaling pages. I did not do any tucks. I was not in the mood for tucks. I just kept it simple and pretty. That's another journaling printable paper. I just fussy cut that butterfly and put it there. And these are some, some of my die cuts. I had laying around in my stash and I put them down there. I just made two tucks on the side. Oh, come on. Oh, I think that one's still glue. Yep, never mind. I must have stuck in there while the paper was still wet. Journaling spot. And then here is the ephemera page. Again, with the green splashes of the full coloring liquid I bought. It goes in the back. I love the way this came out. It got wet. My papers well, got wet. These are printables. I was looking for bees and stuff in the computer. Because so, I don't have anything like that. And I found a few. Not much. And if you're wondering <laughs> why these are here like this. And some of the pages in the middle is because I try to get slick and try to sew my signatures with the sewing machine before putting them in the book. I used the wrong stitch and when I folded the paper it ripped. They started tearing. So when I put them into the book whatever looked ripped I fixed by adding doilies to the pages. Another full coloring fun here, and then a piece of ephemera with bees. That's what it looks like. And then these are journaling pages. Lots of journaling pages. I did four signatures to this journal. And of course, as you all know, I love my dragonflies, so I printed that one out and put it there, and then I added a sentiment that says, travel the world over to find the beautiful. Mm -hmm. Another f 
food coloring dye paper more doilies to hold my papers together here I just used yellow and then here I printed her I think she is so cute I had to put her in this journal it says blossom grow and become and then that's a stamp that I had there would be the set love and some hearts then we go into some um, journaling papers and then we come across this one it says a busy bee this is a printable from the computer more doilies to hold my pages together which you know later on I'll go back and I'll stick little bees and stuff there and this is the lace that I've been using throughout the book this was for a tassel but I didn't do it maybe later on and then this is the other side of that um paper that says a busy bee has no time for sorrow <laughs> that was so funny because when I ripped the papers I was like oh no I don't want to do this all over again and I was sad about that because for being lazy not doing it the right way I used the wrong stitching and it ripped the paper so see here I used some of the lace focus focus there you go right there I put it across the page and then again we come across some journaling pages yeah there's about three or four of them there and then here I added that piece of uh, lace again from the edge towards the edge and I made two pockets and we have journaling paper in there that's one I know I have another one why aren't you focusing that's one there's another one in here yep see two pockets there's another pocket in there. Then we have another signature with more journaling pages. These are all journaling pages, blank pages. Oh, and I distressed them a little bit. See, on the edges, in the bottom, and on the top. I like doing that to my journals. more journaling pages see that's all that this is totally a signature of journaling pages and then you come to the end where there's another colored paper there from my full coloring and then that's the back more doilies a tuck and this is paper from my notebook I sold it I stitched it on top and I folded it and I stuck it in there for extra notes and that's the back of the journal I think it came out pretty good <laughs> in spite of the fact that I almost ruined it so guys this is my share my review of the hashtag prompt journal collab and swap between 
Veronica Chrissy here on YouTube and myself Margarita with this and that and beyond. Until the next time, guys, you stay safe. Love you. Sending you hugs. Okay? Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell. Don't forget the comment section. And please give me a like. Okay? Thank you. Bye bye.